Simplicity has many benefits in life and various industries. The way things focus on a sole purpose communicates intent the way that appeals to others. But there are also ways that it can sour experiences. Being too simplistic can make that appeal have the opposite effect, given the impression that there could have been so much more done. Unfortunately for Elder Game sci-fi epic ever reach Project Eden, the potential is there, but the substance isn't. Good morning, Lieutenant Harwood. Congratulations on not dying. Are you feeling well? Everreach Project Eden stars Nora Hardwood, a soldier for the Everreach Security Division tasked with the aiding of the colonization of Eden, the first habitable planet discovered in the galaxy. Hardwood's first sent to Eden when they got word that the complications were delaying the opening date for the colonizers. Upon landing, Hardwood and her team discover that the hostile groups are attacking Everreach and its communications. It's up to Nora to investigate these disturbances and restore order to Eden. Much of Project Eden's story has Nora gunning through the usual problems that sci-fi adventures have, such as re-establishing communication networks or fighting data drives, none of which holds much attention aside from the appealing cinematic cutscenes and the occasional joke that your robot companion 73Q utters. If there was an appeal to the game's story, it is almost immediately bogged down by the game's repetition. That's not to say that there isn't elements of Everreach Project Eden that I appreciated. A small development team at Elder Games put together visuals and cinematics that showed a lot of potential. With clear inspiration from sci-fi movies, the use of unconventional tilted camera angles, light blooms, and coloring made the planet look and feel otherworldly. If it isn't Nora or her robot friend, the quality of character models lacks detail. The notion can also be said for environments. While backdrop and distant mountains look fabulous, immediate areas are empty, and objects have a static feeling that doesn't help the world seem alive. Project Eden could have benefited from a more polished action and exploration experience. During missions, Nora can run around a level blasting apart enemies and scouts while discovering resources to upgrade her abilities and arsenal. When it comes to gunplay, Project Eden presents some solid mechanics. Early in the game, Nora only has her rifle and her pistol. However, after discovering that the pistol has a slow firing rate and low damage, I pretty much exclusively use the rifle. After a few upgrades, players do have access to the abilities such as shields and stamina boosts. However, Project Eden does not have more weapon types. Instead, Skills are only useful for taking a breather or getting closer to enemies. The enemies in Project Edens are fierce. On normal difficulty, a small group can kill Nora within seconds, if not played carefully. Seeing as cover in the game is awkward to use due to the hard lock third person camera, I found myself frequently using the game's rudimentary hitscan. Other elements that proved to be too simplistic were the upgrades and crafting that can be done in game. Leveling up, Nora allowed me to use three skills to enhance, strength, agility, and intellect. I saw no tangible difference to the gameplay as I was still easily defeated or quickly lose my ability to sprint. What the system did allow is the option to unlock augmentations in the upgrade menu. Everreach Project Eden is presented as a story focused action game that stands out with some main core mechanics. Fast paced shooting, RPG elements, and exploration, but unfortunately every single one of those mechanics are executed in primary structures. Players follow these gameplay loops that have Nora speak up to a few non-player characters, then have a transitional cutscene to the mission start, which its structure again is reminiscent of early gaming eras that had linear progression. So compared to modern titles in the same genre, other games just have a better value. A promise is a promise. Find out how these mutineers got organized. Thanks. I won't let you down. You're making a big mistake. Whatever. We've got something else to worry about. Seeing that Project Eden is designed to be a story-driven game, I could have overlooked these issues and took the game for what it was meant to be. Instead, I feel it was meant to be a game that could have been more fleshed out with more weapons, abilities, and an extra round of polish. Noisy Pixels Game Ever Reach Project Eden a 5.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixels ran by a group of gamers who work hard to give you news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe here on YouTube to keep up with all of our latest content.